Already said hi, how are you? Um, can you state your name and um, what you do in the band? Uh, my name is Jared, I play guitar. I am Garrett and I play bass. Um, how's tour going so far? It's been great, it's been yeah. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> it's almost over now, so uh, we've seen a lot of places. We started out in uh, Italy. Italy, went to Spain, saw France, Germany, uh, Holland. Yeah. And uh, wound up in the UK. And uh, So nice weather, nice weather, nice weather. Then <laughs> and then a little yeah. bit of rain. It got yeah. real cold real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Um, sorry. Um, how, was it nice showing this century, like the ropes, like the UK and stuff? Yeah, it's, huh? it's kind of crazy because I don't think many of them have even been over here. So Yeah, I think, um, yeah, none of them have. So it's, kinda, it's been really cool and, you know, they've been... Getting up early and walking around and stuff because they're all excited because it's the first <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah, it's fun so. to see that. It kind of reminds us of you know when we first came over here and how exciting and how new everything felt and, yeah. and it's just like kind of an energizing thing to watch someone else get excited about the same things. That's pretty cool. Um, you came here earlier on this year in January and played two shows with All Time Low and We Are the In Crowd um, when you just dropped Pioneer. Uh, how was that compared to like obviously supporting to the headlining? Uh, I mean it's definitely a different show with supporting a band, you know, because it's mostly their fans. So, you know, we, we had our chunk of uh, people at the shows, but these shows have been just so great because you know, it's all our fans, and everyone's excited, and um, they've, they've been really some of my favorite shows we've done in a long time, so. Yeah. Um, Very happy been, for you. Yeah, thanks a lot. No problem. Um, so, um, Pioneer's your newest album that you've just brought out. Um, can you compare that to what that means to you as, as individuals or as a band from what Black and White and I Must Be Dreaming meant to you? Yeah, I, I think it was a totally different, totally different approach. For our band, um, geez, <laughs> um, you know, it, it was the whole process was different. We didn't tell our label first off that we were even recording anything when we first started. Oh, and so, speaking. yeah, and we just didn't want the pressure of, of having them dropping in on us and, and you know the whole checking in thing. Or even on Black and White, we did co write. We just did things in the past differently than we did on Pioneer. So um, I think John, we were talking about it the other night actually, and John. Brought up, he kind of feels like it. We kind of started over, which in our heads it kind of sort of does feel like that. You know, we, we have a completely different mindset of what our band is now. It's uh, it's nice, you know. It, it's been it's the best time. liberating. Yeah, yeah it's it, been the it, best it, time we've it, had. <laughs> um, it's um, personally when I listened to Pioneer, I thought um, because I've listened to your band since like two thousand and seven. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> um, um, it was actually MySpace days, it shows you how long ago it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> um, <laughs> when you, it, Pioneer felt a lot more grown up to me than obviously because you weren't like teenagers anymore. And yeah. Right. So, like, for Can't Stop, One Stop, and all that kind of thing. So, did, was it, did you say it was a lot, a lot more liberating? So, did, you, did it feel, did the process feel a lot more grown up from when you were. It actually felt the opposite. I feel like we were we were like little kids again, yeah. like in the studio, like really excited just to try new stuff and, and not worry about waiting some, you know, producer's time, like, try, Hey, here's some like delay pedal that we've never tried before. Let's try it. Totally. So it was, it was, um, it gave us kind of the freedom and, you know, it felt young, you know, it felt like we were, like I said, just starting out and it was, uh, Really cool. It was, yeah, back to basics. I mean, when I joined the band, the, uh, I guess the second EP had already been kind of half written. So um, from then on out, we were always working with producers and whatnot. So for me, it was, it was, to it felt totally new just because we were, you know, finally on our own again. And uh, yeah, we were just kind of <clears throat> learning as we went and, and trying new things. And that's kind of why the album has uh, a different sound than, than what we've done before. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, how do you think the fans have reacted to Pioneer from the previous? It, it's definitely, I mean, I think we all knew going into it that it's a record you kind of have to grow with. Um, or at least, at least I, I knew that. Like, I knew it wasn't going to be the biggest, biggest thing in the world. Um, but, you know, we were so excited about it, and I think that's really helped 
people like grow to it and, and like now the shows like the songs that people are singing the loudest are all stuff off Pioneer um, so it's really it's really cool to see like the the change you know everyone kind of grow into it and, and really like accept it and really love it now. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, you were in the studio with Ryan Adams recently. I know you're all pretty big fans of him and stuff. I, th- I know you especially. You're a really big fan of him. How how is that like working with somebody you idolize so much? Um, we we didn't really do anything with him like creatively. Yeah, we um, just ended up hanging out at his studio and uh, he showed us around. And he's like really hospitable. Like really he just cool gave dude. us the grand tour. <laughs> and for us being fans. Um, for years now, it's it, to meet someone like that and meet someone who has had a, a, a career that, that you really admire, um, I think there's no better person to take advice from. Uh, you know? Ryan Adams is absolutely fantastic. Oh, he also puts yeah. on the best live show. Oh, man. I've never incredible. been able, I've never saw someone just like be there and be like, I'm just going to make up a song right now. Yeah. And yeah. it was like, fan- it was really good, fantastic. So, um, um, so he's, the show is almost finished, but is there anything you've enjoyed about you know Europe and the UK so far? Oh, I mean, it's always it's always a fun time coming over here. Um, really? The as, weather? <laughs> well, I mean, they'd say it's a change for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was 120 when we left Arizona. So yeah. it, it, I don't even know what that is Celsius. Yeah, I think it's sure like 40, yeah, 44 it's or something. something like that. Yeah. Really, really hot. And uh, so we <laughs> got to change it up a little bit. Start wearing layers again? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it feels great. Um, sorry. Uh, what do you th- what do you think the f- um, the future holds for the main as a band? I think a lot. I think we're more excited than ever to just be doing this, and you know we're we're more motivated and more ready to just keep it going for as long as we can. Um, you know, there's always songs being made, and there's always new ideas coming out, and you know, I, I think just yeah, we've we're got, hoping that we can just do it for as long as we can. Yeah, we have we have one more tour after this on Pioneer, and and then. I think everyone's That's in the States with the Speedy Pre, doesn't it? That's up next. So after that, um, we're going to go away and record. We're excited about that. I'm really excited to do that. <laughs> um, you re released Pioneer a couple of weeks ago. Was, uh, was there much reason behind that? Because I know there's a couple of new songs on it. Yeah, yeah there's, so, it, well, it comes with the. Well, I guess it depends. It's on packaged how you get it. together over here. But, but uh, it, when, when we initially started distributing the album we were doing everything ourselves so um it was really hard to get a proper release um in europe anywhere because we just didn't have a the money and b the resources to make it happen correctly so there was itunes and that kind of thing but um we've partnered up with rude records they're based out of uh, italy and they've really helped us kind of get the album out and so we figured that the best way to do it properly over here would be to release it with more songs from that time when we were recording so uh Put six more songs on it, so there's 19 tracks total, and and uh, you know hopefully it lets people know kind of where our heads were at when we were writing it. Those those extra six songs aren't necessarily um, fitting of the rest of the album, but that's kind of why they didn't make it on. So you can kind of see that process when you listen to it. That's pretty cool. Um, um, from your past times being here, from like Academy as to like obviously Alton and Lotter, then mm-hmm. you came over here with Never Shout Never. What do you, what do you think as people which changed like the whole kind of idea of being a band, like the whole start off in Arizona and then coming over here and playing in the UK? It's I mean it's wild. We didn't realize that that was even possible when yeah. we started, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it wasn't at that point. And you know, thanks to the internet and thanks to trying to connect with our fans. Um, yeah, just people supporting. And just people spreading the word. We've been able to find out where that word has kind of spread to, thanks to the internet. And uh, we've gone to places that we never thought we'd... Like, we just went to Italy for the first time in Spain, and the shows were awesome. It, it, it's just crazy to show up somewhere that we've never even set foot in and have over 100 people even that pay attention to your band and come and support you at the show. So... Um, it's really kind of surreal. I, I don't think that, you know, if you would have asked us five years ago if we thought that we would have made so many rounds um, internationally, uh, I, I don't think that we would have thought that that was possible. So it's a blessing. I'm very proud of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so w- what do you what do you use one for the future as just people? I mean, I just like, you know, being able to create music. Yeah. I think uh, it's such a cool thing to be able to do and 
I, th- I think that we've been shown that there's a little bit of a spark in people still um, as music fans, and especially in our fans. They're, they're willing to listen to something new and kind of venture outside the box a little bit. And so, you know, we kind of want to take them with us and, and, and see what, because we don't even know what we're capable of doing next at this point. we got to really uh, sit down and write. So, um, yeah, it's just it's, it's nice to know that our fans are with us no matter what. Good yeah. answer, dude. <laughs> And my last question is, like, what do you, no, sorry, from, I don't know how, how you put it, for like, the next album, what would your hopes be for that? Like, it, um, hmm. I think we're just, more than ever, we're just trying to make good music. <laughs> yeah. And whatever that is, if it's, you know, a slow song or a fast song or whatever, you know, we just want it to be a really, really great song. So when you hear the whole thing, it sounds like one piece of art. <clears throat> like, not like you, oh, here, this song was cool, this song was cool, yeah. but the rest is like, blah. I think the idea is to make, like, a, all the way through, like... So substance over sparkle kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's a great way to put it. I mean, I think that at this point in the process, which is still really early for this next album, John has these little bits and pieces of, of things that he's been writing, uh, melodies and lyrics, and based on those alone, I, I feel more confident in the newer material than anything else, even though we haven't gotten to sit with it and even work anything out yet. Just the, the basic pieces idea. of the puzzle are finally starting to kind of be created, so I think when we get home, we're going to take some time and put it all together. And, um, yeah, I, I just... Like I said, I feel really strong about it, even this early in the game. I think it's going to be the best um, creative experience for our band yet. So, well, I have the best of luck to you, but that is our Thank you. Thank you. time together. <laughs>